So guys, we're going to be speaking to the executive director for Kingston Creative, so stay tuned. Welcome, 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 people. This is another vlog of Jamaica's uh, most inspiring, interesting, and um, very motivating companies that I can speak about and we're who else who else talked about the executive director of Kingston Creative they have been doing great things downtown and mixed with the Moffat has seen their their work and we are really inspired and we want to share it with the rest of Jamaica and the rest of the world so you guys once you are in downtown area or in Kingston once you see these these artistic work it's, it's with a lot of you know, drawings showing showing Jamaica's roots and, and culture. Think about where it's coming from, who has inspired it. Kingston Creative. And I'm speaking here with Andrea Dempster. And um, we're gonna have a little discussion. Just to have an understanding of you know what's the what's the concept coming from, you know, all those all those interesting things. So um, I'm going to Ask you to just, just a little introduction uh, of the company and you know what you have been doing downtown, you know, mm -hmm. and where, where are we going with it? Sure. Um, so, Chris, I have to first just you know hit on what you said about you know that we have inspired all the murals downtown. That's not quite true. We were inspired by an organization called Paint Jamaica and they've been inspired by the long history yep. of murals that have been in downtown. If you go into any community on yep. the walls, you will see art. We are creative people and so we've all, there's always been a long history of murals in downtown. So what um, Kingston Creative has been doing, we're an arts nonprofit, yes. and that means that we are here just for the mission of making Kingston the creative capital of the Caribbean. That's our long-term vision. We really feel that like Kingston has all these assets seventh largest natural harbor in the world yeah. most creative people most yeah. vibrant culture globally wow. and it's just for us to really transform our downtown and make it a beautiful place for locals and for visitors alike and so that's what we're really looking to do to empower creative people because you know there's so many creative people in downtown kingston they are I just mean. scratch the surface dancers musicians yes, all the greats have come, you know, from, yeah, from downtown. Trench Town and those places. Exactly. Yeah. Tivoli with their dance troops, Raytown with the longest running sound system dance ever in the, in the world. Sure, so, the Kingston Waterfront has, has a lot of talent. We did a vlog on the Kingston Waterfront, and I'm telling you, if the Olympics persons want to. The divers. I'm telling you, but it's, it's generations good. that they've been diving from the time that it was Victoria Pier. That's what I understand. They used to throw the gold coins over and they used to dive. That's so, what I understand. We're brimming with talent and it's just to have the right ecosystem in place so that yeah. this talent can really flourish wow, so wow, we're wow. saying we all want to develop we want vision 2030 right we want it to make it to be that place to live for families and mm -hmm. all of this but you know maybe we can use our creativity to get there and that's what kingston creative is about and and remember people what she has said is very important it is a non-profit organization so they're actually doing this for jamaica for kingston and to put us on the map in another way because we you know the negativity you know all that negativity and we have to highlight our positives Absolutely. and we we're, we don't have a, we don't have that going on a lot in jamaica and the positivity so really commend you and um honestly these work of art it, it is not normal i can't tell you this straight it is not normal and i want to find out you really are these are these individuals from Jamaica? <laughs> you know we get that question a lot. Everybody oh. assumes that you know you have to look outside. But we are full of talent, and so all the murals we've done sixty five murals, I think it's sixty four or sixty five, right? Now. And every artist that we've worked with is local. A lot of them come from downtown, Whoa. come from Denham Town, from around the area, from Ray Town, and we think it's really important for artists from the community to be involved in the production of this you know so 
we didn't just import any artists we yeah. are using local talent wow. because to grow a district and for people to really feel like it's theirs yes, yes and yes. not to deface it and not to you know stress people out when they're there to feel a pride in the area you have to be part of it and yeah, you have to benefit okay. because uh, the artists get paid so you must benefit from it and then yeah. you, you feel a sense of ownership at the end of the day and so all the artists are that's smart <laughs> <laughs> that is smart because um you know we have a tendency to deface stuff and you know once you know you're from that area you try to do your best to keep it up mm -hmm. yeah man but i i i really see the work and i appreciate the want to take them on a little walk on a stroll mm -hmm. um in the in on the i mean it's not only murals i don't know if you guys you guys are also partnering with with the KCC to do the roadways as well yes we are working together we uh, definitely asked for where we put the murals can we pave the roads yeah can we put those bollards to block off the vehicle or traffic so pedestrians can walk up and down and yeah, they man. are taking it to a new level with their project called culture key yes. so you're gonna see them going up mark lane and doing fabulous things as well we're wow. also partnering with duke street renewal project so on duke street if you go up there you will see a load of new sculptures which are very interesting sculptures of um uh, norman manley and buster Manzi sitting on a really, really? there's I... a lot of interesting t hummingbird that lights up at night partnership is the only way forward Makes so sense. sherwin williams ministry of culture ksac we're working with anybody who wants to work with us we're working with them because it's all of our city and so everybody has to play their part yes yes and um, i know that you're also teaming up with udc as well so i mean yes, absolutely. They, they, we're, they're on board absolutely <laughs> they're on board with the artists and collective store which will be open in september yes once yes. covid will in <laughs> so on Ocean Boulevard, and it's a great retail outlet yeah. for so that local artisans can yes. have a shop and dedicated. You know, you're buying Jamaica, and that will be located on the on the office center building. Absolutely, yes, on right on the ground floor. Ground floor, nice, nice. Well, I I can't wait. I mean, I'm here sitting with you, and I'm I'm just anxious to go outside <laughs> to to see what is going on and get the concept mm -hmm. of. Um, do you guys present them with a the concept for them to paint, or they come up with it? So how the concept works is we told them it's about Kingston's creativity. Yeah. We do something called an open call. So we don't handpick people. We say we're looking for artists to do this. True. And then they submit their designs and then a panel that is comprised of people from the National Gallery, um, professional artists, they choose the best work and then that person gets hired and they put their vision on the wall. For our next phase that's coming up, I have to mention Tourism Enhancement Fund, who is our biggest sponsor of these murals. Yes. They really see Kingston as a center, as a hub for tourism, a different kind That's of true. tourism, you know, not the sun, sea, sun. <laughs> so they're really driving it. And um, so they are sponsoring this next phase that's coming up, which we will be looking at different aspects of our culture. You know, we're UNESCO, creative city of music. Yes. We're yes. known for music. Yes. But do you know all about our famous dancers? Do you know all about our famous writers? Do you know all about our famous filmmakers? We have a tendency to forget about other uh, part of us. Yeah. But so we want to, mem you know, kind of commemorate these other art forms that we're also excellent in, even dance hall. Yeah. You know, so that's going to be the next series of murals. And so we just tell people what we want and, and the artists come back with their concept the panel chooses it's all very fair very transparent nice nice well mm. it was great having this discussion with you and i am really elated to finally meet you face to face to really commend you on the great job that you're doing downtown and i mean most of the, these buildings are, are heritage buildings and they are they have existed for, for thousands hundreds of years sorry mm -hmm. and right now when you look at the buildings it's just give you a different feeling feels feel more more motivated to come downtown it feels safe and i don't know yeah, yeah. it has that and, more it has that feeling now and that's we even, how i feel we even put up plaques when you go down you'll see these silver plaques yes, with yes. the names of the artists and the dates and you know those plaques are still there nobody I'm, has taken them I'm though telling you, so, <laughs> so if, let's imagine if, if if there was a all island um project you know that would be something crazy well but, you know we do have this crazy idea that if this works here yeah. then it can work for Falmouth, which has so much heritage for black river that yeah. has so much heritage there's so many towns you know we have to get out of the north coast yeah. and explore and have people explore there the culture other person, there island. are other sections of our country that, that we need to that show have them. a story just yes. like downtown yes. yeah that we need to turn around so i really yeah. thank you thank you very much for having me here. well i just want to tell you know your viewers like where they can find us where yes you can you can go ahead because it will be 
down in the comment in the section absolutely so. it's www.kingstoncreative.org and if you're interested in becoming a sponsor of one of these murals please feel free to reach out to us at info at kingstoncreative.org and if you feel so moved and you want to do a recurring donation via paypal we have a paypal link as well and if you live in the states and you want to get a 501c3 write-off as an you know for a donation to an ngo we're working with the american friends of jamaica so you can go to afj choose a cause and support kingston creative so together we will get it done so thank you so much for your support guys support they are very good and they are doing very great for the for the inner city and jamaica itself and its culture so on behalf of mixing the muffins thank you very much and thank and you chris for helping to get the word out i appreciate it <laughs> all right Yes, these are the persons that are responsible for, for transforming down here. Watch the great puts. Rest in peace. Yeah, man, these, these walls are like dirty. The grounds are in poor condition. The roadway. Alright, now. Thing. Turn up. Yeah, we can see the condition of the walls right there, you know. But these artistic creations doing a great job in, in, in also preserving these monuments trust me yeah man not no longer an eyesore no longer an eyesore downtown yeah man walking here can feel I can feel the vibes I walk walk on water lane I know hope peace and love Celebrating our music culture, music city. It's a show, the dance our culture, and all of the domino playing, and you know, see it there? Sound box. See it there? DJ perform. What's that? The herb. Herb of life. The jerk chicken. Yeah man, we have to highlight the good, you know. We can't always highlight the bad. Downtown is actually one of the, one of the, one of the nicest places 
in our Kingston right now especially from the waterfront so yo feel free to come visit down here man water lane intersection with King Street and Orange Street yeah man so this I wanna wait this I wanna wait project that we highlight from mixing with the muffers in yeah man so remember for like share and subscribe to the channel because we also bring these niceness to you guys so until next time